It's crazy how you just need the second to remember that thing, right? Just one second. Come on. And your hair is really going to be challenging. All right, so some of you guys say, well, what, why would you do a seven reverse? And I made a comment like, there's a big difference. So when you're doing a haircut, shave down, like on this dog, and I've been shaving him down like most of his life. What you're gonna find is, don't listen to me, try it yourself. All right, you guys, we're gonna use our Andis AGC two speed. It's on sale right now at myfavoritegroomer.com. And we also still have right now, a handful of Andis five speeds that had just came back in. Don't forget, pick up your monkey cord. We're gonna do a shave down with a 10 down, and then I'm gonna come back and do a seven reverse. Pick up your tools at myfavoritegroomer.com. Who says the Andis AGC two speed isn't strong enough for a shave down? All right, so we already took one swipe down. Look how deep this is, how much hair. This is freaking awesome. This is a tin blade, ceramic, straight down, you can see. Now, if we keep doing this, which we can, right? there's no lines here so some of y'all think that I do a seven reverse to kind of clean up the lines no that's not why at all it's a lot of times because these thick hair coats or like even a chihuahua that you're gonna shave down or even a boxer that you're gonna shave down when you go down the hair cuts down so the hair is growing it's gonna cut down right the hair is growing this way it cuts this way so there's a cut that way draw yourself a ruler line you'll see that cut goes this way when you come reverse, here's the hair. Here's the hair. Let me show you this. Here's the hair. We're going to cut the angle this way. Down, the, down. Okay? Like this. The angle of the hair. 
When you come reverse, it cuts, cuts the angle of the hair this way. Okay? You will not understand until you do it yourself. Thanks, Stanley. You do it yourself. So you go down, feel it with your fingers. Feel it down. Now, when you do a seven blade reverse, just trust me. Feel it, feel it again. It, it feels, I mean, this feels great. It feels soft. But when you do a seven reverse, the cut is definitely different. And if you're gonna do like what I was saying, a boxer, chihuahua, dogs that you don't normally shave down, how do you really get, a, get that as short as possible? By going reverse. You're not gonna be able to tell until you run your finger down. It is so much smoother right where the seven has been. Like I said, try it yourself and then you'll know. But for now, we're gonna finish up and keep going with our 10 blades. Isn't that great? You can see, this is a two speed. So those of y'all have a two speed, you just need a good blade and your clipper has to be in good shape, good servicing condition. Get a two speed as well. You don't have to get the five speed, but if you want that little bit of lightweight clipper, cause you're gonna use it all day. Trust me, I have, I can feel it today. My hand is definitely using this two speed. It's a little bit heavier than the five speed, but hey, if we're out of stock cause of COVID-19, get the two speed. Especially if I'm running a deal with like two or three blades with the clipper. Oh my gosh, you can't get anything better than that. When it comes to his hair, you do not want this trickling you. It is straight up like a needle. If you are seeing a lot of those lines, then what you really need to probably do is get your blade drive and replace that blade drive in there. I'm like, is that a flea? Oh my goodness, we have fleas, I'm gonna freak out. And then here you wanna just be real careful how you come up with that skin and everything up in here. And so you'll come back down with your 10 and try that out first. Get all this, figure out where your meat's at, where your bone's at. And then you know that flap is, is scary right there, so come down this way first. Don't go reverse right there. You kind of feel that, it's gonna go straight down, okay. There's a lot of technique and practice that comes in. It looks like I'm going fast and all that, but because this is what I've been doing for a long time. But it takes a lot of practice to get it right and actually how much pressure to apply to your clipper. And even sometimes then you're still gonna make a mistake. So you gotta know how to fix it, to fix the mistake. If you can. I'm 
That's a lot of hair. Okay, look that way. Look straight. No, no, where are you going with that? No, 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 you can't go with it. No, 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 no. This is not a good place for you to do that right now. No, 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 no. No, don't do that. No, don't do that right now. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, that's good for there. Push this out like that. Right here. Honestly, I can't remember if I shave his tail or not. I swear to fleas, man. I still have not seen a live one, though. I just see, like, something. I see... I just see something that... happens. Like, the evidence? No, it seems like... It'll be like... You, you kind of see something and you're, it's tr you feel like your eyes tricking you, but... Later you come to find out, like, oh, that's what that thing was. It, it would be, like, dark and then it would go to light as if something's moving. And it's not really there anymore. I don't want to shave down his legs. I, I don't like shaving down the legs when they're kind of bony. It's not my favorite thing, so I'm just kind of fading it. And you might not like it. Well, you don't have to do that if you're grooming a dog like this. You can shave the leg if you want to.
But food for thought, I wish I had my 18 inch groom loop here because I do not like him. He, he has a little bit of wiggle room and it really makes it uneasy because he, he would want to jump, you know what I mean? All right, let's, um, and he move, it's moving too much so it makes you feel like, oh my God, I can't even take my head off of him. This is an ultra edge blade and it's an older blade. I can see that the cut's just uh, not as fresh. Hopefully my other blades ready because none of these are making me happy. The other ones are like brand new, I guess. Big dogs, you really want an electric electric table because you'll hurt your back real easy just in a couple hours. You know, you've been working all day and you're still going at it. Even on small dogs, if you need one, give me a call or email me or go to myfavoritegroomer.com. I hope you just, I think you should contact me first. So I wanna make sure you get what you need and make sure they're in stock. And I'm sitting here thinking it's a template. It could just be the fact that this is pretty matted, you know. So I've been through four templates now. A couple of them I did not like. It might not be that. It might be just this area. So I'm going to fix it with the Furminator and then come back with the 7 Reverse. So you're going to come back. Yeah, this is a definitely a new blade. Dang, it's so nice to have a brand new blade, man. Seriously, there is definitely a difference. Even the other ones being an older blade, but a, a, a new ceramic cutting edge, wow. Oh, that's really hurting my shoulder. Stanley, we're almost done. I do need to check the file. I need to make sure 100% on this. Um, That's what I'm
large dog up stand. Shaved up. Oh. Excuse me? Shaved up. I've been shaving him almost his whole life. He came in, his hair looked what? Gorgeous, right? Those of you that think that when you shave a dog, it's not going to be the same, that's not the case all the time. We've been talking about this for years, so. I'll probably shave him until he's, he goes. Are there breeds out there that if you shave them, they don't look the same? Yeah, there are, but not, not a lot. Definitely Pomeranians, but. It just depends on what you're trying to do and what you like and what you don't like and stuff like that. Are you gonna go after her? Yeah. Will you take her that blue um, face mask laying on the table? She's buying that. Yeah. Just, uh, just say, Dee Dee's always shaved your dog's toe all the way down. Is that okay still? She just wants to double check. It's been a minute. Mm if a two guard will do something for us here. Like heck no, it's too thick. We're gonna climb. This is not what I usually do, we're just playing around. Yeah, it's too thick to do guard work, man. It's ugly. No, we're not doing anything. Nope, nope, we're not doing anything yet. Calm down. I know it looks like I'm doing something. I am. Look up for me. Look up. No, look up. No, no. Okay, he's starting out. Get your, get your seven blade out. Now I'm going to lay down a pattern on top here. He is not really wanting to participate. It's okay. I'm looking at the other direction. No. No. I need to look this way. No, no, don't, don't, no, up, no, up, no. Here, 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 here. Good, good. No, Stanley. Stanley, good, good, good. Good, Stanley. Come on, look up. Come on. Come on, we'll get her. Good, 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 great. Gosh, I'm not going to be sweet.
Stay, 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 good. We think. Four bar now. I'm gonna go lightly just here. All right, so we're fermenting now, and we're gonna get some of this stuff that's just been hanging out in his. The dead. We're gonna get this dead hair out. Get all this out. Real light, don't be, this is, could be a very painful brush if you do it wrong, so just real light. You still want to get all that dead hair out. You have to stand up. No, no. All right, now we're gonna come back with our seven blade.
like powder. The little hairs mm -hmm. on your clipper looks like powder. Mm -hmm. That's the difference between a 10 down and a 7 reverse. That's how little hair difference it is, but it's a much smoother haircut. It is so smooth. Like, smooth. Not in the look, in the touch. If I was blind and I touched the hair, Take seven reverse is so smooth. The cut is just different. I can't explain it. You just have to feel it for yourself. Okay. Let me double check your head and the funnest part is our and what the most muzzle you for this. This tape, this thing, oh man, this cord sucks. It doesn't have a monkey cord on it, so it keeps catching on everything. You just do it. I don't know how I was ever surviving without the monkey cord. bar in reverse and I'm going to come back down. So I did a seven, kind of down, two bar in reverse and come back with my four down. No, no, no. Good. No, no, no. Oh, this will be interesting now. Like he, he has no idea what he's doing, you know? He's just moving around. Mm -hmm. Look at his face. He's actually just doing the opposite of what I'm trying to have him do. If I want him to stand, he'll sit. If I want to go over here, he's going to turn that way. Watch. You see how I know the dog? <laughs> just you, I was using a straight shear. I never used those, but I was using a straight shear on that, on his tail. Now, right? See, he doesn't want me. He, he's ready to be done. This is body language. If I, and I've been listening the whole time. He's spinning around. He's ready to be done. He's ready to bite that. Oh. Oh, he thought it was hup, his hup, collar. Hup, hup. Hup, 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 hup. Don't do that. You might you might scratch yourself with your dew claw. Okay. First thing I want to do is just let me. Can I see first? Can I see? He almost bit me last time to do the nails. Oh, you don't like it? Oh, well, I'm the groomer. I'm here with the dog. I know the dog. I've been grooming him since he's young. Now he's old. Oh, we got gum on his paw. Gum? Yep. Right there. Mm -hmm. Get a close up of that gum. <laughs> I'm going to have her put goo gone on it to get it off. 
I'm not gonna sit here and shave it and rip it off. This is a time where if you have the, the large nail clipper, it's your best bet. If you have the large nail clipper, his nails are strong. So the pressure back against your hand is what's important to understand is that there's um, pressure that goes back into your hand, okay? There we go. The meat's right there, so I'm just gonna take a sliver. See right there? There we go. Bop, 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 bop. He's doing pretty good. So this is good if you had a Dremel, this would be really easy. Boom, boom, like that. And do it like every week. Okay, don't get mad, let me see. I'm gonna tuck my shoulder over here so if he tries to bite me, because he did last time, he could bite my shoulder, but not my face. See how strong they, the nails are? Because they're thick, they're big dog nails. What is his mix? I would have to check his file and tell you. But he's rescued, so. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 we're almost done here. Focus on something else. Not much on that one. Okay. How an ear should look. Hold on, let me clean it and then we'll go back and look because you can see. Oh my goodness. Do you like that, Sammy? Let me see, don't get mad at me. This is a great looking ear, clean. I'm, there's nothing I needed to take out of there. It's, this is a healthy, clean, smells good. This is a healthy ear. He has no idea I'm looking at him. Don't open the door yet. Okay. Sammy. Sammy, looking good? Wait, 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 don't jump up there. Let me lower this. You said it. I ain't jumping back up there. Sammy, are you doing? Yes, he is. Look. <laughs> good boy, Sammy. You did good. You did so you good. Put some more hair off. Look how happy you look. How good you look. Look how good you look, man. Does that look good or what? Mm-hmm. Okay. You're, you're, oh, yeah? Here. 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 I don't know what we're doing here. Okay, you ready? You jump up, jump up. Say bye. Bye. You just said it's gonna be, it's so hot. What? You said he's gonna love it so much because he's so hot. Because he's been so hot. With all that hair, you can oh tell, my. miserable? Yes. Yeah. Are you happy, it looks oh good? Oh yeah, he looks fat. He won't lock you out, will he? No. Okay, great. And then that mask looks good on you. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's handmade, so. Every now and then you're going to groom a dog that's moving around the table a lot. And sometimes it's kind of nerve wracking and you've got too much going on. You've got wires everywhere, you've got a cart, you've got your tools over there, they're too far to touch, you've got the dog upstairs, it's over there, you're moving it, the trash is in the way, it's just frustrating. But you also have this animal that's dancing on your table, kind of watching what you're doing and wants to do what kind of what you're doing or do the opposite of what you're doing. It makes it for very tough, you know, moments. You just gotta do the best you can and try to, Dee Dee, try to calm down and really, you know, get the job done, which is what I hope I did with Stanley. So Stanley and I have been, you know, been grooming together for quite a while, and I know that because I've seen that pet parent through her first pet's loss, and I really miss her dots, uh, her Doberman Dotson, right? Doberman Pinscher, Doberman Pinscher. Yes, Dober, a large, a large one. Not a miniature Doberman Pinscher, but a, a large Doberman. Her name was Daisy, and she was so, she's so sweet. She would do this, just thing like that with her jaw. She was so, <laughs> she was so sweet. So I've seen that pet parent through the losing Daisy. And that was years ago. I mean, matter of fact, I should look and see, right? Because talking about history, you, you look at the years you've had with someone. And so 
mom's outside she's like you know outside of all this like it's hot for me it's hot and I don't know what it is with these smock you stand outside in a hundred degrees you're literally sweating like dripping and so I'm like yeah you know um, I totally want to give you a hug too it doesn't even feel right it doesn't even feel like I'm supposed to allow to talk to you now what if this COVID-19 was meant to do that to pull you away from anything you ever knew before Wow break every relationship you had I've been groom uh, I was grooming Daisy um, and Zoe and Blackie a cat I had been grooming her pets since 2013 but kind of before no you won't believe it you won't believe this I've been grooming the first time they came in for grooming was 2006 I was like truly a baby groomer at that time I just started my business in in 2005 in Texas here in Texas in Watauga and that's a long time so I also know oh no she would refer to me I used to do pet sitting for a company and I was like a contractor and outsource so she ran, ran into a problem with staffing she would call me and she trusted me to go pet sit so I would pet sit and this lady the pet owner of Stanley worked for her too she was like also doing that kind of thing she would be somebody that she called to do pet sitting and so we got to we we just heard about each other and so she asked if she could come in for grooming and she never left so since 2006 I was grooming Daisy I will really try to find a picture of Daisy and I mean November 2006 February 2007 May 2007 September 2007 February 2008 June 2008 November 2008 I mean seeing them shave downs mom we were shaving her Doberman shaving like shave 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 just like Stanley it's who you are and what you like and what you don't like no one asks no one has to tell you what you like and what you don't like you know what you like and what you don't like and it might have been like I can't remember um, yeah I can I can look at my card and tell you I wish I could show you my card but someone will probably copy the information and go try to contact the person which has happened haha ha. so 2006 we were not shaving yet and then come like I think maybe something happened I might have I might have said hey you you want to try it and you know this Doberman seemed like I don't know about you if you ever seen one had soft hair and it would stick out and be flary like flyaways everywhere thick hair too so I might have said hey do you want to do a shave down and try it out and we did and we never went back <laughs> never went back so November 2006 until now which is August 2020 it's pretty amazing to look back at clients that have been with you for so long. It just touches my heart. So, Tina, if you're watching this, which I hope you do, I hope you watch till I'm talking. Uh, I love you, girl, and thank you so much for trusting your babies with me and supporting me during COVID-19 and just being there as a client and friend for so long. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right, those of you guys watching, Stanley always gets shaved down, and Stanley came into their family, ah maybe let me see if i can she brought a foster dog named monty was this monty very sweet that was uh april 2016 17 18 19 20 so four years we've been shaving him down and i'm like for a long time that's quite a while let me make sure she she might have done some rescue stuff though if that was his name in the beginning so it wasn't stanley right it was monty yeah it probably was that makes sense then we shave down like uh, every 10 months that's it or just every eight to ten months maybe six months but usually about once a year once every 10 months is about an average for her so this time it was a little bit stretch when you stretch that a little bit further the hair is a lot thicker it takes a little bit more time and really strong hair that stuff is sticking in your arm in your elbow arm I love the seven reverse I need you to try it if you're doing shave downs on dogs that have that like a Labrador Golden Retriever th it's really thick hair Australian Shepherd Doberman Pinscher Chihuahuas yes Chihuahuas Boston Terrier pug hair that's strong thick short hair dog but there's a lot of hair still do the 10 down that you normally did or 
don't. I want to do the 10 down and the 7 reverse because it's just been a long time since I've seen them and there's a lot of coat there. Then get your Furminator. Come get a Furminator at MyFavoriteGroomer.com. Get your Furminator for this. Shave it all down. Do your Furminator. Come back one over. Feel the coat with the 10 down. Feel the coat afterwards with the 7. Know the difference. And that way you can sell the difference. You can say, I can make that hair just a little bit shorter if you don't mind. It's going to look a little tightened up a little tighter than the 10 down, but it's still a shave down. And, and if you say it's a military shave down, they're going to understand this is, this is, this is short. You know what I mean? It's a military shave down and they're like, Oh yeah, I know what that is. Like that box shaved cut. Tell them it's a military shave down. You're going to love it. The dog's going to be cooler. You're going to be happy. I'm going to be happy and we're going to get this off and I'll see you in three or four months, maybe six months. And in Stanley's Stanley's re repeat time, six to eight months, 10 months. Okay. So it really depends on how, long they can handle it and once right now he ain't gonna shed for a while it's so cool the pet parent is like maybe like four or five months there's no sweeping so it just depends on what you want to do all right make sure you get your tools at myfavoritegroomer.com let me just say that again get your tools at myfavoritegroomer.com check us out on instagram and facebook and be sure to share if you enjoyed this video we'll talk to you later thanks for being here thanks for being a fan i appreciate you <laughs>